Hello, it's Olimic. In today's video, I will show you when you should not clean fuel injectors and replace them right away because of some mechanical parts that wear out. And I will show you the difference between old fuel injector that being cleaned versus a new fuel injector. So this 2010 Mitsubishi Outlander has 170,000 kilometers on it and it has very bad fuel consumption even though it doesn't have any misfiring code or check engine light. The fuel injectors should be replaced every 50 to 100,000 miles, which is 80 to 160,000 kilometers in normal condition. And this car has 170,000 kilometers, so it's already passed that range. So after disconnecting the wire harnesses and removing fuel rod bolt, then I disconnected the fuel line hose. Now we can pull the fuel rod out. Alright, the fuel rod out. Let's remove these steel clips and pull each injector out. There is an important note when you're pulling the fuel injectors out, sometimes the o-ring will stay in the fuel rod and you have to pull it with a flat screwdriver, otherwise the new fuel injector not gonna sit properly. Here is the new fuel injector side by side with the old one, they should have the same part number. You will have rich burning or lean burning, in another meaning, it will send more fuel or less fuel, even though they are identical side by side. You should always clean the fuel injector rod before putting the new fuel injector in. Otherwise, all these debris will end up in the new fuel injector. So in this case, I will use a sharp towel and clean each hole like this. For cleaning, I will use a carb cleaner and clean each fuel injector hole. After cleaning each hole where the fuel injector o-ring sitting, then I will fill it up with a carb cleaner and let it drain like this. I can still see some permanent stay in it, either I have to replace it or use harsher chemical. In this case, I will use hydrochloric acid that being thinned down with distilled water. It is the same fluid in a car's battery, but in this case you have to wear a mask, eye protection, and gloves. After I drained right away, we can see how much dirt came out. And now I'm gonna spray some carb cleaner and wash all that acid out. We can see how clean the fuel holes looks comparing to before. That's how it should be cleaned before putting the new fuel injectors in. Alright, here we have the new fuel injectors. I'm gonna oil the o-rings and install them on the fuel rod. Using oil will prevent damaging the o-rings and provide better seal. Next I will put the steel clip on so it holds the fuel injector on the fuel rod. And then I will move the fuel injector side to side to hear the clicking sound and be sure that the fuel injector is sitting in the right place. And the steel clip holding the fuel injector. Now the fuel injector is ready to be installed on the car. But I made this setup so we can test out how much fuel consuming in 20 seconds. Then I'm gonna replace the last fuel injector with the old one and test out again. So here we have the new fuel injector on the left side and the old fuel injector on the right side. They both have the same fuel pressure and we're gonna let them run for 20 seconds. You don't have to make this setup if you're willing to replace the fuel injectors. I'm just doing that to show you the difference between the new fuel injector and the old fuel injectors that been cleaned many times. Looks like the new fuel injector raised it to almost 2 cm and the old fuel injector raised it to 3 cm in 20 seconds. And that is why if your car passed that range, you have to replace the fuel injector and not clean them. Because you will have a bad fuel consumption just like I showed you. If we look at the mechanical part inside the fuel injector, we have this needle that has ball shape at the end. Over time this will wear out and it will send more fuel. With this exacto knife, I can feel the wear out part very good. Another factor if we zoom in on the fuel injector tip, we can see the holes are not perfectly circular and they are damaged. Unlike the new fuel injector, the holes are perfectly circular. So that is another difference between old wear out fuel injector and the new fuel injector. After clarifying between the old and the new fuel injector, now we're gonna put the new one on. But before doing that, we're gonna clean the fuel injector holes. And what I like to do, twist the sharp towel like this and put some carb cleaner on it and clean the holes. This way it will provide better seal. Now we're gonna put the fuel injector rod back and put the bolt on. Next the fuel injector wire harness and organizing the cables. Okay we are almost done. Now we're gonna turn the engine on and check for any leakage. It's pretty normal when the engine not starting right away because the fuel line and the fuel rod are empty from the fuel. Once it's filled with fuel, then it will go back to normal again. And always check fuel leakage after replacing or cleaning fuel injectors. In this case, we don't see any fuel sign. And that is why you should not clean fuel injectors and replace them right away. Hope you guys found the video useful and learned something new. If it was, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.